All right, here we go, video. Someone requested we want to see off the front. Uh, we always seem to be sitting behind people doing it. The reason why I do that, this is a Strava Strava segment. It's called Debneys. And this was a day I took the KOM since being stolen by Carl Evans. I'm on the front, I'm tying everyone up the climb. And I just said, guys, like, just come around me when you want. And not, so no one's come around me so far. That's one thing I noticed, the pro riders, they're really good at that transferring that power when it flattens off, they, they can hold the throttle down. So still no one's come around me. I'm still on the front of the bunch of at least, the, as probably, actually it probably was maybe 250 pro riders, um, you know, there's more. It's like the best of the best on my wheel right now, but they're still not coming around me. So I'm like, all right guys, I'll, I'll keep leading us out, keep leading us out, I'm like, no worries. If you want to see a good video, cycling maybe do one with Pat Shaw uh, recently, and it's the Criterion from the Bay Crit. So I'll link it down below, that's a great, a video where you can see the commentary and back and forth because it's the criteria all right so you often there's swapping off and stuff like that but generally hill climbs there's not much swapping off going on so i'll sort of sit in the back so i can show you what's going on fuck you are fucking dumb you know i do hate one vegan you you're so fucking dumb this is a nice one freely i literally jump for joy when you upload thanks amy that's very sweet i'm laughing at how the search says fat nicole <laughs> that wasn't actually on purpose but that was yeah divine intervention there Okay, so let me clarify here. I've never hated or liked the girl. You know, I find her annoying. I find it annoying that she's trying to copy Jenna Marble. She needs to get her own style and personality. Um, but it was more about her message, okay? So she definitely hit some good points in the last video and the video before that. Sure, she did hit some good points, but her overall message is just blah. So it seems that we have Nicole Nicole is a child, a five-year-old trapped in an adult's body. And she said something else about vegans because I didn't watch the whole video because it was really painful and my eyes and my ears started to bleed. So I had to stop the video. Use my dear fat people video as workout motivation. Hang on, are these are success stories. Hang on. that people um, you know got some motivation from her video some people got some motivation that's great but where do they go and we are happy, happy healthy, healthy vegan, vegan. Well, a little over a week ago, we made a video where we went down to the Ben & Jerry's Scoop Shop and reviewed their four brand new non-dairy flavors. So we just thought we would try to unemotionally go through why we think it is vegan to eat Ben & Jerry's dairy-free ice cream. As the about 50% of the American and worldwide market that is lactose intolerant. Yeah. And that's why Ben & Jerry's made this ice cream and for the vegans as well. Even though Ben & Jerry's isn't marketing this as a vegan ice cream, but as a dairy-free option, they still took the extra step of getting it certified vegan through a third party company called yeah. Vegan Action. Vegan Action, which means there's absolutely no animal products of any kind, not even honey in the manufacturing process of any part. And there's also no animal testing done whatsoever, which people are saying, why are you supporting an animal testing company like Ben & Jerry's? Uh. Well, there's none in this vegan stuff. Hey guys, it's not like an either or. It's like you either eat Ben & Jerry's ice cream or you eat an ice cream or local vegan ice cream. No, eat it all. It's Due to the popularity of our recipe for brownies, we simply had to share with you our favorite recipe for another outstanding and popular sweet treat, blondies. To begin with, preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius or 360 degrees Fahrenheit, place the nuts onto a baking tray, toast them for about 8 minutes and whisk the ingredients to properly dissolve the sugar. All you have to do now to complete this rather strenuous preparation is to transfer the butter into a cake pan and bake the blondies for 25 minutes. I'm usually not a huge fan of sweets myself, but the truth is that when this stuff is around, it rarely lasts for more than a couple of hours. I don't hate anybody, except for vegans. So the very controversial Nicole Arbor, she's back at it again with her Dear Fat People too. the second helping. I know like me, along with many others, we, we were definitely full from the first one. We don't want seconds, but she gave it to us anyway. We watch her videos and there's nothing about these videos helping anybody. It's just straight hate. We're taking this information kind of personally. Being vegan ourselves and being overweight at the time and using a vegan lifestyle to lose all the weight, her information is just ridiculous. Why is there so many dislikes on, on your video? You even cut out the comments and dislikes tab on your first video. It's clear that people don't like this message. This girl is obviously and clearly a mess. There is this big thing going around where her ex-boyfriend Matt Santor, who has over 5 million subscribers on YouTube, we think all this hatred and anger secretly comes from her trying to live up to these corporate standards, undercarboning herself, and dieting all the time. She is completely uneducated. 
I agree with some of it, disagree with a lot of it, but this video is not about my opinion of her. Calorie restriction has not worked in the past, it's not working right now, and it will not work in the future. Plus, most people end up gaining more weight than when they started. Anyways, animal products, there is a ton of health-related issues with them. They cause high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, cancers, heart disease, and the list goes on. 